Hello, um, you know those motherboards, well, MSI motherboards, that have the big warning signs on saying it's got a battery on, and then when you look in and you see there's another warning sign saying this has got a battery on it, and then you look at the battery and you think, how the hell do I get that out? Well, that's what this video is about. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the this. <laughs> um, the motherboards actually fit into a case, and I really I, I, I'm not going to take it out of the case, it's a PCM building. Um, but what you can see, hopefully, is this is, um, again, this is an MSI motherboard, but it may be prevalent on other motherboards as well. I think MSI might have been doing it for a while, actually. But there was never any videos about how you sort it out, and it was driving me absolutely mad, so I've done this. This is, with, this is what the socket should look like uh, if you want the battery to be flipped out easily. Okay, so there's something missing. So if you look at your socket, it shouldn't be that difficult to work out what's missing. In between the bottom sections, I'll just bring a pair of tweezers in and point at it. In between there, where the tweezers are now, there is a bit of plastic on yours. And that bit of plastic is preventing the latch from being moved enough for the battery to pop out. Okay, so let's just look at that latch now and then see what, <laughs> how you're gonna get it out. Cause you've got to remove that little bit of plastic um, in order to, to make the battery removable. So this is the actual catch. Hopefully you can see, I've put a, a zoom lens on this um, and hopefully you've got a, quite a good view of it. Uh, it's, can you see it's sort of tapered and goes in towards a point because when someone's fitting the battery they pop the battery in and then they pop this little retention clip in and in it goes clip so it's shape it's that shape so that it's easier for the person assembling it or the machine assembling it to do it what we're interested in is the sophisticated little mechanism so if i just grab it with these ply these tweezers here and try and hold it in the right place if i bring the paper behind it can you see that it's not completely flat and it's got two sticky up bits one on the top and one on the bottom those sticky up bits go into holes in the metal contact in the mechanism in the actual battery socket so you can't just grab this with a pair of tweezers or anything and just it doesn't come straight out you have to release the catches now the way you do that is you have to insert a pair of tweezers or something <laughs> that's the same height as those catches. So that's sort of like that much of these pair of tweezers. So you insert those in and when you insert them in, the metal contacts for the socket go apart and those are free of the holes. So it's grabbed in with holes. So, and then it lifts out. So if you do it right, you can get it out quite easily. No other way will work. Believe me, that's why this one's a bit gnarly, because I've been thinking, how the hell do I get this out? I, I refuse to give up. There was nothing on the internet to explain it. <laughs> so I sorted it out, and here's this video. So when you're trying to get it out, you have to shove your little tweezer thing in so it's wide enough to be the same height as those clips. So as, as you shove it in, it separates and releases them. See, get the idea of that? So hopefully that'll be able, you'll be able to do it. Um, I, I realized that after I built the PC, but I thought at some point in the future, this PC is gonna come back and need its battery changing and someone else is gonna to wanna to change the battery. So I thought, let's take this little clip out, to save annoyance. Um, but uh, do you wanna know what I think has happened? I think um, that something's happened at MSI. I think there's been a tragedy at MSI. Or there's something uh, happened in the locality. I don't, I don't know where MSI is based. I probably should check. It might be Singapore or Hong Kong, somewhere like that, that, that has brought this to the attention of, of executives at MSI. Um, and I think it's because uh, someone's died. That's what I think. Because these are what we're talking about here. This is a lithium battery. The clue there is the word lithium. <laughs> That's the kind of battery that you get on motherboards. If you swallow that, you are in a whole world of pain. Not immediately, 
But once that thing works its way through your digestive tract, it will kill you. There is a really good chance it will destroy your insides. So I think something's happened to MSI to prompt this because the boxes are covered in stickers. The motherboard's got a sticker on it. That's the sticker there saying warning there's a battery in here and the battery's got this quite sophisticated and quite funky little clip retention mechanism so you can't accidentally pop the battery out um i'll tell you a little story one of my customers there one of their kids is a kids are grown adult now one of their kids is a um, paramedic and they attended an incident where a little girl had swallowed one of these and um she said no are you in any pain no no pain nothing's wrong can't feel anything everything's fine what did you do i swallowed a battery what battery was it it was one of these so they were rushed to the hospital and they dropped them off at hospital and then got on with the next job that's what paramedics do they have a uh, they do their little window on the whole incident and then she thought oh this little girl she's quite cute because she was quite lucid when she went in and she thought she'd check up on them so she rang the hospital said, look, I'm this paramedic. I brought that girl in. Can you tell me if she's all right? And they said that she died because she died. Um, the battery had killed her. So that's, that's, that's awful. I mean, there's, there's, that's awful. And I think that kind of thing has prompted MSI to do this. So well done, MSI. <laughs> it's annoying to me, um, but you probably saved some lives so um let's not be too harsh on them when we're struggling to try and get the battery out because even if you're obviously a kid getting the battery out is one thing but if you're an adult and you take the battery out and just leave it lying around and you've got kids around then you know it, it can happen so um yeah i hope this video helped um yeah liking and subscribing is appreciated uh, i looked for solutions for this online and i couldn't find any so that's why i've made this <laughs> So, um, thanks for watching.